lasted, so. Die picking. Here's a song. You know, Captain Kirk. Hi, Debbie. Hello. Debbie on Facebook or YouTube? Uh, she's on Facebook. Let us know how you can hear us, Debbie. Sherry, it's a bit tilted. Hi, Sherry. A bit tilted. That's probably me. Mm. Well, it's not facing straight on. It's our stand that's kind of tilted. Try to lean with you. There you go. <laughs> Let me know if that's better. Hi, Jody. Hi, Patsy. Hi, Donna. Teresa. Cheryl from West Virginia. Welcome. Hi, West Beverly. West Virginia. Yeah, Cheryl's on the show all the time. Welcome, Cheryl. Uh, hi, Kathy. How are you? Patsy. Yeah, the ship is rocking. Hopefully, I stopped the ship there. <laughs> <clears throat> well, we thought we'd get the stream started here and let everybody kind of hop on a couple minutes. It looks like it's six o'clock. It might be go time. Go! Woo! Where are we going? Uh, to the moon on a rocket ship. What was that show where he was always like, to the moon? To the moon. Uh, oh, Jackie Gleason? I don't know. The viewers probably know. They will, uh, Hop in on that. Hopefully the sound's a little better. Turn the volume up a little bit across the board. So let us know if the sound's ever good. Uh, last block of the solo. Yes. Next week we're doing sashings and okay. cornerstones. There we go. You'll like it. It's easy. Uh, so, <laughs> hi, Paula. How are you? Welcome from Pennsylvania. Welcome. Uh, Kathy said it was the Honeymooners. Pow! Right That's... in the Kessler. <laughs> okay, so maybe it was somebody else who was like to the moon. But yes, that was the show I was thinking about. It was to the moon. Oh, well, thank you guys. You, you never miss a beat out there. Hi, Linda. How are you? So, Joan, who are we? We are Quilters HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and qhq, the number two, dot com. Oh, Keister, yeah. Keister, <laughs> right in the Keister. Alice. Alice, and what moon. was his name? Uh, I don't Glenn know. or Gary or Al? They'll, they'll pop in here in a minute. They'll pop in here so. and say it. Yeah, yeah. It was a little bit before my time, but I remember like a couple of episodes being on somewhere. A lot of reruns, right? Yeah, I don't think they can show that anymore. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff they can't really show anymore, but we grew up on it. Ralph. So. Ralph. Yeah, thank you, Kathy. They what was the they friend's name? All right, Kathy, you're just going to throw the friend's name out there. Hi, Nancy. How are you? All right, okay. so... Updates. Um, Brother Luminaire event is going to be 7th and 8th. Um, the new Scan and Cut is not available yet, so we dropped off that day. We're going to have another one um, after the new year, so look for that one. Um, $100 for both classes or $59 for individual if you want to come one day or the other. If you can't make it both, um, it's Hi, worth Shirley. it to come to both, though. 
It's really a good um, exploratory of the brother products. So right. if you haven't got to test the Luminaire, or heard if things about it. If you're thinking about getting a Luminaire, if you already own one, this is not the event for you. Um, this is a sales event, so um, great deals, great buys to be had. If you, um, I think if you're a dream machine owner and you're thinking about trading up and you know what's those differences for me, how does that affect me, um, I think that's a pretty good... Oh, is it the XE1 or the XE2? Uh, XE1, right? You've got a Stellaire or yep. something before that. Um, you know, that'd be your next move up to uh, move into a little more technology and things you can do with it. The WLAN oh, with the scan and cut. You know. that you can do with it is cool. super cool. We'll have to do a demo on that one day. We'll need Dana for that because it takes a little more setup than I know how to do on that machine but you can actually quilt around. It'll scan your quilt and you can quilt around it. You're like, say you had an applique quilt, very cool. Or if you wanted to quilt just inside one of a little block, it's very cool. So. Hi Joel, how are you? Beginning quilting one, September 8th through November 3rd. We are in the second week of that, so it's not too late to catch up. So if you know anybody that wants to join that class, it is 120 for eight sessions. Um, let's surge one. That one is uh, the beginning quilting is here at Quilters. Let's surge one is at Windmill. No, it's a here too, I think. Is Judy on? Judy, let us know if it's a Windmill or if it's at Quilters. I think it's here at Quilters. Eight week program, September 21st to November 13th, 1030 to 130. Um, become friends with your sur serger. Lots of fun stuff there. Learn new feet, learn new threads. 120 for eight weeks. Um, I know this one is at Windmill, Kimberbell, Candy Cane Lane. That's hard to say. Candy Cane Lane. Say that really fast. Candy Cane Lane. <laughs> I did it. Pillow. It's a machine embroidery. You do need an embroidery machine for this. Um, 108 includes the CD embellishment kit and fabric. October, Kimberbell okay. Group. They're doing the little Sage Owl oven mitt. I've seen these, they're super, super cute. It's all in the hoop project. That one is also a windmill, it's $25. Uh, November, Kimberbell Group. Um, glitter nosed reindeer tote. That would be another one, hard to say. Glitter nosed reindeer tote. I think they make them really difficult to say. I think this is Judy like. <laughs> she gets maybe a kick out of <laughs> watching you try to say them fast. <laughs> Me struggling Hi, with these names. Uh, $25. OESD virtual event tiling scenes. This one is the 23rd from 1 to 2. This is a virtual event. This is so much fun. I love these. I do love these. If you want to see them, you got to go down to Sewing Machines Express because they have them hanging all over the store. Super cool. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Hi, Karen. Um, Sewing Club, October 2nd, Saturday of each month, January through November at Windmill, 49 a year. Ruler Club is, this is at Windmill 2, October 6th, first Saturday of every month, $99 a year. Embroidery Club, October 9th second Saturday of the month or the Monday following a Saturday session at Windmill. Did everybody get that? That's a lot of stuff. Be sure and check the websites for classes and yep. things like that. All of this is on the website. And so We really are trying to work on some additional remote classes as well. I mean, you did the YouTube one for uh, AccuQuilt uh, yes. this last week. The club for AccuQuilt. So we're going to go to the YouTube for those. Um, at Facebook, it's a private, jo private group. You have to join to Hi, Jennifer. see it. So it's a little bit easier. You just put it out on YouTube. Anybody can watch it. If they're interested, they can contact us to get the pattern. And then um, once Well, of the people who watched it, I mean, did they? what do they think of the format and things? Uh, some feedback for us is always good, so yeah. how we can do things better and improve, so. Yep, if you watched it, please let us know what you thought. Last week, and it's tomato. Tomato, tomato. You know, rotten tomatoes just popped in my head, of course, yeah, right? Of the, course, you want the, the rating site for movies? The rating site for movies, because, <laughs> you know, we're finishing up with tomato, this is not a rotten tomato though. This is a 
This is a pretty good one. This is a fun little block. It's much, much easier than we did last week. It's just squares and half square triangles. So let's get started with that because we also have a end of bolt sale for you. Yeah. We're still needing to make some room. We got lots of fabrics in. And we did so. get a new collection in. Maybe we can browse by there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's American Jane. So we need, I'm going to start at the bottom, six patches of the um, ebony for die number, we're using die number five and die number two. Hi, Debbie. From the nine inch cube. I'm going to start with die number two. And a couple, you know, one of our viewers had a great suggestion, which I did not do, and that was right what you need to cut on the, the die itself. So our size of block is um, two and three quarters. I'm gonna cut it at three and a half. And then we can get all of these in one pass. Still excited about the new map. Six layers, six of those done. Linda said she loves the in the bolt sales. Hi Amber, how are you? Hopefully you and your family are doing well. I know we haven't got to shoot the breeze for a while, but uh, hopefully you guys are doing okay. Okay, there's my six pieces. And then we need 10 patches of die number five. So I am just going to, let's just cut 12 because it's easier. And then I can save those two patches for something else. Okay. Now we, we had our first little dose of fall today, a little bit of that yeah. fall feeling. That's so. my sweater, I got a sweater. Yeah. It Break was sweater. in the 60s. It was about 50 something this morning, yeah. Bring it on. Bring yeah, on cold weather. Which is, was very nice. Um, hi, Polly. How are you? Hi, Donna. Dana. Sorry. Been a while hey. since you've been to class. Well, welcome. Okay, I am going to pull two of these off because I know six layers cuts 12 and set those aside. Oh, nice. Well, I'm so happy for you, Amber. Tell them, I mean, you keep them in, a, in our prayers, um, you and your family. So hopefully things continue on a good path for you. We also need 10 patches of the tomato. 10 tomato patches. <laughs> it's 10 Sweet. tomato patches. Yeah, we didn't, didn't plan that. That was just, let me try the other side. It might be a little straighter. 10 tomato patches. Tomato patches. I love tomatoes. Love, love, love tomatoes. Tomato sandwiches are favorite. Oh my gosh, tomato sandwiches. So I eat my tomato sandwiches, and this is a Midwestern thing or Southern thing, maybe. I don't know. I think we had this conversation. A lot of people like mayonnaise on there, right? Yep. Flash flood warning. Been raining hard all day and still going. All right, Beverly, we'll stay dry and keep your boat handy and your sewing machine. Be sure to take that with you. And all your fabric. <laughs> oh yeah, and your fabric. Yeah. I've had that happen to me. A little so Harry fun. Potter wizard thing going on there, where you can uh, whisk your fabric somewhere else real quick. Or uh, Mickey Mouse with the magic mop. Polly said uh, she's doing well, waiting for her Death Star die. <laughs> Death Star die. I don't know what that is. Hi, Georgia. How are you? Tomato sandwiches with mayo, the best. Oh, absolutely. You can't, and you there. can't eat just one, right? You got to have at least two. You have two mater sandwiches. Yep. I miss that from summer. Our neighbor. 
kudos to our neighbor planted a garden and he gave us tomatoes and you know I hoarded them I'm I'm the only one that likes tomato sandwiches so he did the uh, Wilson uh, home improvement thing over the backyard. I couldn't hardly see him over the fence, but he's like handing tomatoes over the top of the fence, which was awesome. Pass the tomatoes. <laughs> yeah. Pass me the tomato. <laughs> oh, Polly said feather star. I was gonna Feathered say death star. star. Uh, Feathered got like a star. Lego die oh, there. Yeah. She's going to be cutting stuff out. So. Yeah, I made one of those. I did get one of the dies for myself. I'm really looking forward to it. So okay so i'm not going to lay this out yet i know all of the triangles go together so let's piece those together real quick check everything here all is good and then i'm probably going to use the iron rather than the multi-function finger presser tool oh come on that tool's awesome it is awesome but it's a lot of triangles and we got fabric to get to. Yeah, and I think they're pretty, if you're pretty excited about the fabric, it's always a good Give us a thumbs up or a heart or a smiley face. Just my way. Everybody likes their tomato sandwich just a little bit different there. Yeah. Good feedback. And that's it. That's all I put. Tomato, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just tomato, mayonnaise, and um, I like the Newman's Old um, Butter Bread. Some people like the white bread. Some people like it toasted. Some people add some lettuce. Some people throw some bacon on there. Well, then that's a BLT. <laughs> well, you Robert. up on the uh, tomato sandwiches that's awesome the other one is my favorite is an egg salad sandwich but I have a recipe for a deviled egg salad sandwich it's delightful it's pretty good hi Julie how are you tonight and that's good on toast can you tell it's supper time here just got one of these is she on uh she is yeah jennifer how are you liking your new 2010 hi amy how are you uh patsy said love olive egg salad okay, okay. i love olives i think i'm the only one in the house that does yeah, not a big olive fan more for me but i like mushrooms so much. <laughs> the fungus among us. Cindy said, you're approaching running out of thread there. Am I? Yeah. We got lots. Uh, air thread goes a long ways. I have gone through a couple of these spools at, spools at home. <laughs> Peggy said, bacon's going to be missing while the prices are up. <laughs> No doubt. Yeah, the meat prices just really have went skyrocket. I was like, wow. So I ordered a half a cow and a half a pig and put them in the freezer, I think. No doubt. Time to make a trip to the butcher. Yeah. Okay. Oh. That never happens, does it? What? <laughs> you ran out of thread? <laughs> they were telling you, see? Well, thanks for the heads up. Appreciate it. Didn't listen, <laughs> but I do appreciate Just it. Just someone, yeah. Okay, redo. Do over. Oh, Jennifer hasn't uh, got to it yet, so. Okay. I'm sure those the kiddo keeps her uh, running pretty good, so kiddos. All okay. the football practices and soccers and gymnastics and all kinds of stuff going on. Start. So glad the kids are grown. My son. 
He'll probably be, well, he doesn't watch, so he'll never know. He was in, um... Hi, Nancy. Band, and... He did chess club, and he did the science Olympiad, and if it was kind of like really nerdy, he was in it. And uh, so we got to do all of that. And when they're in like third grade, it really sounds like they're killing cats with those instruments. It's bad, <laughs> but good memories. Jennifer was on the long arm all weekend. Oh, so. good for her. Took Monday off of sewing, so might get it out tonight. Well, fortunately it goes fast or we would be here forever. And these are already perforated together. Uh, I think one announcement we might have missed if there's people on from Springfield um, the Kimberbell event that we did have scheduled for early uh, November is going to be canceled um, there's okay. just machine wise there's uh, some shortage going on there so with the chips and everything so it's uh, it affects different parts of the market. It's really interesting. How many of you are doing homemade gifts this year instead of trying to find things in the stores? I think homemade gifts are going to be a big thing this year, don't you? I think mm -hmm. so, too. I kind of talking about that last uh, show. Yeah, I think what we were saying last time was, you know, if you see something, get it now because it may not be there. And who knows when we'll get it. It's so strange. I mean, there's so many things. Here. So, I think I'm doing bed runners. Okay. All right. Nice. Hey. Always doing the homemade. Okay, good. Yeah, homemade gifts really are the best. I mean, it's, you put a lot of thought into them, and, you know, people yeah. appreciate that. Those you know, not. sometimes the children they don't really understand the value of those yet. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Boys love their blankies. Well, they definitely do. That's true. Um, I'm hoping people order bags early this year. Yeah. Yeah. The mail was pretty crazy. Yeah. My gifts give them in reusable cloth bags. Very nice. Made bags and quota for this year. <laughs> A lot of you ladies are doing that. Okay. Awesome. Um, <laughs> so here's a here's a tip you can drop to your significant person that shops for you. Um, a couple years ago, we mm. had a gentleman come in and get a gift for his wife, and then he bought a yard of fabric and. You know, we picked out something really neutral for him, and that's what he wrapped the fat. What the gift in was a yard of fabric. <laughs> I am on board with this trend. Yeah, do you just wrap that with some ribbons then? Because obviously, you're not getting a, a tape out like my Christmas wrapping. Because you know, it's, it's not I duct think, tape, but I think he kind of looped it over and tied it with okay. a twine or something, but you know. We should do a video on how to wrap a present with fabric. Yeah, we should, because that's, that might be my go-to from now on. <laughs> uh, Debbie, the shopper for me is me. Ooh, that's the best shopper right there. No doubt. You are for sure going to get what you want. So. Oh, give money. One size fits all. <laughs> that's what the children want, is money. That's yeah, what they really want. want. Um, I always give gift cards. 
This is a version of an Ohio star. It has this real cool little um, centerpiece here. I'm going to piece this in rows. So let's just get started. Let it get done. And then we can move on to fabric. I can't believe this is, we've done this for 42 weeks. Yeah, this, I think the session video, I mean, should be really good next week. So. Yeah. Can I can't make... wait to see some of the pictures of all the quilts that people did. I know, it's especially ones fun. that, you know, did their own fabric, because yeah. I love it when people take something and make it their own. Cause... Yeah, the colors are really good on this one. So I like I like the uh, tomato patch block. <laughs> tomato patch block. <laughs> well, if we'd have thrown some green right here, could have kind of maybe given you the impression of tomato. If we put a stem on it, I could have handed it back over the fence and said, here's your payment for the tomatoes. So yeah, lots of things in summer to look forward to. Blackberries, another favorite. Um, but I like the cold. I don't like being too, I'm going to make sure I'm pressing, yep, I got it. No seam ripping this time. Yeah, we're going for a seam ripperless show. Got to say that one real fast. Seam ripperless show. <laughs> yeah. Try not to mess things up in the blocks the wrong way. Did you grab the thread box? I did. Okay. Oh, uh, that thread of the month color. I grabbed that too. It's right there. It is. Six thousand one. Perfect for quilting those holiday quilts. Six thousand and one. See how nice? Because this is kind of the red's kind of a Halloween or not right. Halloween, but you know, Christmassy color, and it really does bring out that festive kind of feel in your quilt. Now I don't know which way these go. <laughs> Distractions. Somebody's distracting. Who would do such a thing? <sighs> One of these days. Saran wrap. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Socks, toothbrushes. Wait, what? I missed something. Uh, they were talking about wrapping. Okay. Karen said her cold only lasts uh, about a day or two. Anna says finished with her quilt through row six this weekend. Oh, Sashes nice. and cornerstones included. Waiting on the last three block kits. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I don't know. Did we get any new products yet? We did. We got a whole new fabric collection oh, from okay. American Jane. You could walk the camera over. It's right over there. Right over there. Warm, warm, hot, hot. Nope, nope, cold. Yep, that's it. Ruth, well, you're in our prayers, so hope everything goes well. Mississippi Gulf Coast, huh? Somebody was saying we're going to have a really cold winter this year. Yeah, I think a couple people have said that. I don't know if that was in the Farmer's Almanac or not. I don't know. Something about, like, wasps' nests and things like that. How high off the ground 
there. Well, that's interesting. Now we gotta explore this topic. <laughs> Has anybody else ever heard that? If anyone knows anything about the height of wasp nests off the ground relating to winter, I would love to hear about this. I think that's something my grandfather told me. All right. Missouri thing. Well, he was from Texas. So... Persimmons have spoons on them this year. That means snow. Okay. Six rows sewn together with the cornerstones and sashing, just waiting to finish the row to complete the top. Nice. Okay. I am really excited to, to see this. It's going to be better than the first one. Yeah. <laughs> I have not decided what color I'm going to quilt it in yet. So Debbie said that her dad always judged it by the woolly worms, but she hasn't seen any of them. So if you've seen a bunch of them, it was going to be a harder winter or less, it was going to be a softer winter? Hmm. That's a question. Woolly worms. Yeah, those things are... Yeah. Yep, we used to catch those all the time when I was a kid. We were, we were talking to somebody who didn't who had a... I don't think they had seen a tomato worm before. Really? You know, those wiggly, giant green tomato worms that get on your vines. Inchworms? The inchworm looking thing? They're big and green. Grandma always called them tomato worms. Oh, the color of the fuzz on them. They're black and rust color. Okay. Interesting. You know, the things you can learn on Make It So. <laughs> Not just sewing, but this the plethora of knowledge that on the show. Yeah, I hate the tomato worms too. Grandma was not happy about the tomato worms. Always eating up the leaves. And... Yeah. I would go to battle with the tomato worms. Yeah, you don't wanna Oops, wrong way. Try that again. Get the doohickey out, press down again. Yep, that is the nice thing about that. You can press your seams the other way without having to press it flat. I don't know, there's some kind of funny thought going on there. I see it. I see it. <laughs> I was actually thinking about the magic of video editing. So once Chloe gets done, nobody will ever know I sewed a whole, you know, bunch of triangles with no thread. <laughs> <laughs> Except for these live people. Except for you, and then it's then it's an urban legend, right? Oh, this turned out really nice. Ooh, it was awesome. She said it's a great group, made of worms and BLT. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got things to talk about. That's right. We got sharing to share. Okay, so this is block 7F, final week 42. So, congratulations for hanging in there. Beautiful block, too. Very I cool. do like this one. It's very cool. Shut that off because we don't need it anymore. Let's do this. All right, stage change. Well, I think they wanted to probably see the fabric. You want to? Yeah, let's do. Oh, let's walk over here and see. Yeah, because it's kind of hard for me to see on the camera when we get there because I don't get any feedback here. My fabric. Oh, it's so soft too. So these are twelve ninety nine a yard. This is story time, playful daisy navy, and they're all blues. They're just 
fabulous colors with the daisies. So they have a light and a dark. Love these. Are those little polka dots down there? These are, these are micro checks. Oh, micro checks. kind of close. So like really micro checks. Yeah, really small. Interesting. These have dots. This one does. Hi Tom, how are you? Very small print. Yeah. We've just been talking about BLTs, uh, tomatoes, worms, and you know, how uh, cold the winter may be. Yeah. These are fun with the, the dots, the multicolor. There's like three different colors of blue in these. So cute. So new in the store, come in and check them out. Um, those are not part of the end of bolt sale. We just got those, so. Yep. The end of bolt sale is over here. Did you end up showing your quilt um, quilted there for the... I think I, mean, I did. did. We were going to do a it? demo of it this week. How to how to do that. We might save it until... Um, not next week, but week after. Okay, I have three batiks, so let's start with those. This one is number 14. We might have to come in really close. Do you want me to come around closer so I can hold them up? Um, probably be better, okay. I think. Yeah. I'll come that way because then I can just put them on the iron board. Yeah, sure. So I know a little bit. Okay, so this is number 14. This is one and three eighths yard. These are seven dollars a yard. So show you the print cool yellow this is a batik number 14 okay. and we I mean we only have so much of these so um, you know you're guessing how much yardage they're pretty close no I measured them oh, okay two, um, two and a half. so first in kind of gets them because that's all we have so it's in the bolt number 12 is two and an eighth yards I like this one it's got little trees and stuff in it here's a better picture I think they go that way This one too. Oh yeah, the spoons. Yeah, that's a, cool, spoons that's a cool blue too. Tablecloths, napkins. This one is number eleven. This is one and three eighths yards. Number eleven. And so, if you want any of these, you'll say make it mine, number eleven. And then what we'll do is we'll send you an email. Um, if you're local, we'll call you when it's ready to pick up. If you're not, we will email you an invoice. If you have not shopped with us before, you need to go to one of the websites, quilteshq.com, and register for Make It So. That gives us your information. We will email you an invoice with a clickable pay button. You can pay with PayPal or credit card, and then we'll ship it to you. What was the price again? $7 a yard. $7 a yard. Yep. Okay. Number 19. This is French General. There's two yards of this one. Really pretty blue with red and kind of country colors. Number 19, make it mine. Two yards. I love this one. This is a larger piece, two and seven eighths. This is number nine. And it's this real creamy fabric with these little tiny roses on it. You can see my fingers, how small this mm -hmm. print is. Number nine. So how do you, when you get down to those yardages, I mean, what do you come up with for inspiration for those? I mean, you might just know they're there and use them later in a project or? Um, well, these are pretty good sizes. So um, you can use them in a quilt. You can pair them up with fabrics that you already have. Um, backs for baby quilts, things like that, binding. Log cabin is a great, great, great. We're going to do a series on log cabin too. So, um, in the AccuQuilt Club, this is number seven. There's one and seven eighths yard here. This is a really good one. I it's used a this flowers one. Flowers on there. Yeah, little tiny flowers. Mm -hmm. 
I love these new cameras. I'm looking yeah, over off on the side to really, really see nice. what the, yeah. the pattern actually looks like. So yeah. number seven, the color is pretty true. Another good one. One and three quarters yard. This is number 18. And this is a very small print as well. And it's just really cool Kelly green. Again, these are $7 a yard. They'll figure it out how much it is. Um, one and a third. Number 18. No, sorry. I can't 17. read. I'm looking at that one. Yeah. And <laughs> 17. Number 17. That's a good Christmassy type. Yeah, green, it isn't is. It? You could definitely Stars. use this in Christmas fabrics. It has a, a little gold glitter in it. Let me see if we can get it. Kind of, yeah, kind um, of see it. A little bit, yeah. It does have a there little glitter to it. Yeah. It's a gold metallic. One and three eighths of this. This is number six. Number six. I love this fabric. It's just it's really it has a wonderful feel and. Here's a bigger piece. Two and five eighths. This is number 16. Checks. I think we used that for a back of a quilt here. It seems very familiar. I think we did. I don't remember which one, but. Oh, we might have time to do the demo. Number 15. This is one and a half yards. Let me see. Okay, so it has writing on it. It's be creative, be, I can't read upside down. Joyful. Be joyful. Yeah, be caring, be you, humble. be happy, be true, be kind. Original. Be original. Yeah, I'll give some. Oh, this is a great collection. This one went fast too. Um, two yards of this one. This is number 13. Again, this is a Kelly green. It has a great print in it. I'll turn it around so you can see more of it. Number 13. Two yards. Very cool. Yeah, we do. Um, this one is two and a half. This is, I can't think of it. Um, number five. Two and a half yards. Kind of a smaller, eh, maybe medium size mm -hmm. print in it. Number five. It's pretty. Dots and dots. Hey, this Debbie. is one yard. Hi, Susan. Okay, it's number eight. Little micro dots. dots. Little bitty micro dots. Perfect for Christmas quilts. That looks like a great wrapping paper. <laughs> okay, number four is two and a half yards, and it's this really cool peach with little micro flowers on it. Number four. Number three is one and seven eighths. And it's a strip, but it has these little dashes in it. Let me see if I can get it. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's a great pink. Make a great binding or back of a quilt. Also a good looking I... wrapping paper there, I think. Also a good looking wrapping <laughs> paper. Okay, number one is two and a half yards. Very neutral gray with little swirls in it. We had this collection in. This was a basic. It went really, really fast, and I think we ordered it a couple of times. I think we did, yeah. So, number one. 
I almost I almost kept this one, but then I thought, <laughs> no, I can't. All right, you guys that. have to be really fast on this one. <laughs> Number two, so. one and a half yards. And it's this um, kind of watercolor. Yeah. And it has a little yeah. bit of orange in the pink. Yeah, it's very pretty pink, though. Yeah. This is a great one. Number two, one and a half yards. Finally, number 10 is two and an eighth. And again, another little micro print. This is a really good olive with um, kind of a pale blue flower in it. Number 10. Okay. <clears throat> okay, that was it for the thread. We have a giveaway. Oh yeah, so we do have a giveaway. Um, to win the giveaway, you gotta um, comment on the chat, so, and then we'll pick a winner. Did you talk about the thread club? Um, I did not talk about thread club, so. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. See how good that would look in there, probably? Yeah, it would look pretty good in there. So this is a thread club. Of course, I put it upside down, because I always do. Um, this is a thread club we have here. It comes with the box, a spool of white um, thread. Doesn't like my sweater quite so much. I'll open it without breaking it. There we go. Spool of white. Your spools fit in there just perfectly. If you're like me, you have this thread and just strings hanging all over because they come undone and you know I don't really take the time to wind them up back on the spool and put the cap on them but um the box <laughs> just saying the box and the spool of white is twenty dollars and then once you're in the club you get twenty percent off all of the spools of thread that you use to fill it up um, thread of the month is 15% off unless you're in the club and then it's 20% off. So it's a great bargain. One of my favorite threads. So if you haven't tried Aerofill, you'll really enjoy it. Do we have a winner for this? Nancy Taylor. Nancy Taylor, congratulations. You'll love this book. This is this is needles and thread Amazing. and fabrics. There's so much to talk about, and they smushed it all into this little bitty book. Keep this. It's got hand sewing needles in there as well as. Nope, this one is just hand sewing. Nope, it's not. This is sewing machine needles too. So has the um, application fabrics you should use it with, threads you should use it with. Does These it, retail for nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Does it talk about the scarves and stuff then? Or yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. So, um, and the groove. So it talks about the parts of a needle in the very very front. So, a lot of information. Nine ninety nine for this book. If you want one, they are back in stock. Make it mine. Know your needles. Yeah, that's a handy thing to have. Oh, it's. Needles and thread, I mean, we get more calls about my machine is messing up. I'm getting skip stitches or I'm getting looping. And a lot of time, just changing your needle fixes that problem. Um, usually if you're getting like looping on the top, you go up a size with your needle, solves that problem. If you're doing quilting, the smallest needle I would quilt with is a 16 and preferably an 18, because um, you're going through all those layers plus the batting, so. Yeah, and do you find sometimes that you don't get the needle just centered properly and just sometimes even just making sure it's all the way up in, Yep. you know, make sure it's up in there tight, make sure it's mm -hmm. turned properly, because looking at it sometimes from a different angle, your dominant eye will even uh, play a part of that. Play a, play a role in it. Yeah, I use the, the the old needle. I put the old needle through the eye, hold it up, and then um, screw it tight. And that way I can tell the direction of the needle that's that's facing me rather easier than and then the groove is in the right place. 
Donna said she got some compliments on her Make It So shirt today. We no. do have those in stock. So we do still have more of those in stock. So if you want pink one. and blue, so, so that would make a good size. stocking stuffer. No doubt. You could wrap <laughs> stuff in that, too. Yeah, you could wrap stuff in that, too. <laughs> We're trying to help you out here. I do like the idea of a gift wrapped in fabric because, you know, paper is just going to go in the landfill. Yeah, some people reuse them, like, right? I mean, but put it back sometimes, but uh, fabric. No, you that's cannot a, go wrong with that. It's gonna get used again, right? Did anybody ever have any relatives that saved the Christmas wrap? Oh, my grandmother. Did she? Oh yeah. She would be you like, "Don't the, tear into nope, it." Nope, you get the next year. I <laughs> get that again. So somebody else did. Pass it around. Until oh, I got to that be one this, last year. Until it got to be this little tiny piece of... Until you just couldn't... Yeah. Hey, that was a frugal generation. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But, know. yeah. So maybe we'll do a, a little... Uh, Gift wrap. I think that would be just really cool. I mean, you know, it, and, and, you know, we're trying to be more green. All of us are. All in, of in us. In our own way, right? How we help the planet. So that one would be a really good one. Yeah. So. We can do a little demo on how to wrap a box with fabric and then uh, post that out on YouTube and you can drop that little hint to the person that's gifting for you. I think that would work. You, you know, even if you got like an old jacket or something, you could wrap that up and use the arms and uh, uh -huh. this just keeps going. Yep. <laughs> okay, well we don't have time to do the demo. We have 10 minutes left, so I think we're probably just finished for today. So, easier block. Yeah, so sale. next week we're doing the, the sashing. Sashing. And I'm going to show you an easy way to cut that. Okay. So, um, you'll like it. And we'll have the yardage requirements for it and the cost for that as well. And maybe we can get to the demo. And I do want to show uh, next week the Americana line of cabinets. So. Well, we have 10 minutes. Cool we could do that now. Yeah. But... Well, anyway. It wouldn't do them justice to No, it wouldn't. It. They're really nice. Right. And they have um, white glove delivery. delivery. Yeah. That is Bring it to your cool. house and carry the trash away and put it um, exactly where you want it. So Put it exactly cool. where you want it. It is cool. So. We need more services like that. We do. So, thank you for joining us tonight. And we will see you again next Tuesday. Enjoy Same. your week. Stay safe. Yep. And, uh. Yeah. See you next week. Yeah, good luck with the weather, everyone. Hope everybody is going to make it through that just fine. And we'll see you next week. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>